Hit another one, it goes green. Must have changed for. Hey y'all, this is Mish, and I am back with a home DIY video, my first of the year. And we are going to deck out this wall, y'all. It's nine foot ceilings in here, and I need the entryway to, mm, you know what I'm saying, uh, when we first come in. Now, this was supposed to be a three to four day project, y'all, two weeks. But I'm going to spare y'all all the details. I'm not going to waste no time. Let's get it. Okay, guys, so this is what I'm getting. One by two, eight foot strips. And uh, I don't know how many I need, but I'm probably gonna get about 30 to 35. If I had to do it again, I would get the pre-prime boards. Just a little tip. Now I'm a visual type of individual so I need to see what I'm working with. So I use painter's tape to map out how I want our wall to look. Okay so I went ahead and removed the painter's tape. I'm going in with a eggshell finish by Bear Marquee in the uh, limousine leather color. I wanted a true black and this is about as black as you can get honey. Um, I did this on my master bedroom wall and I like the result so I'm doing this with the entryway and it just works with that go mm. and here she is she's all painted and done now let me tell you the most tedious part out of this project and that was learning the saw I don't know how to work no goddamn saw, but it was by any means necessary in order to get this job done. But this wall, majority of this wall only required making 45 degree angle cuts when you need it to have angles. Um, now, I know how to use the ruler and mark what measurement I need and do a straight cut. Learning the 45 degree angle was a process we did mess up a few boards till we figured out how you know when you want to make a 45 degree cut on one side you want to make that cut turn your board around flip it over and make the other cut that's the key that's the tip you don't want to cut the same board on the same side um, you end up with the same damn side and it won't even make sense so, I didn't get a, um, a clip using the 45 degree cut, but on this particular saw, there is a, um, a marker on each right and left side showing uh, 45 degrees. So all you have to do is just um, the little black candle, turn it to 45 degree and make the cut. Now, what you're seeing now is me doing spacers. I did a six inch, eight inch, and a 10 inch, and I used these spacers throughout the entire process to make sure that in between each angle, everything was the same measurement. Now can you tell I got short girl problems? Yeah, the husband had to help me when it came to the ceiling. These are nine foot ceilings. Yeah, I had a step stool and I still was too damn short. Um, so what we're doing, we're just framing out the entire wall. I know some people don't frame their walls when they do this type of look, this type of accent wall. I personally don't care for it, um, but I wanted this wall to be framed in. 
So that's what we doing. We use a uh, nail gun. We use the saw. Um, I did have that laser level that you saw in the previous clip. Um, I ended up taking that shit back. It was not helpful at all. Oh, and I forgot to mention that we used one and a half inch nails for the nail gun. Yeah, I know some videos they use two inch. I'm not sure what the reasoning is behind that, but um, my husband said that the one and a half inch would do just fine and we haven't had any problems. Okay, let's go to the next tedious part about this project. Okay, so I explained the 45 degree angle situation. I had the vision, okay, getting the cuts to match seamlessly was a pain in the butt. But we did it. But for a long time, <laughs> we just we had messed up a few boards and it's okay. I just want to point out if you can tell I am using a spacer I want to say that this was the six inch spacer just to make sure that each space in between the triangle is six inches Completing the triangle was the very first part, the foundation that was needed in order to do the rest of the wall. It took us a minute to get this triangle together. By this point, I stopped looking at my painter's tape vision and I just kind of went along with whatever looked good, um, you know, as I'm going through the process. So I just suggest you guys just have fun with it. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Um, it's all about what you want. This wall and our entryway is very big and I needed something very dramatic so I didn't want just a few boards here and there I need a lot of a lot of detail in this wall And we are almost done hanging with me y'all so for this next part you want to get you like some type of bucket some water or old rag um, I'm using a microfiber cloth and you want to get you some um, wood filler this wood filler y'all I think it's like no matter what kind this shit is a pain in the ass to work with so I suggest you use some wood filler and wet it a little bit I'm just showing you guys right now the caulk. We'll get to that in a minute. But that wood filler, it took me a few tries. Like right now, look at it. It's just extra thick, damn near kind of extra dry. Um, it took me a few times and then I was like, you know what, let me use a little bit of water. Um, just a little bit, not a lot. Um, once I start using a little bit of water, 
everything kind of start going very, very quickly. So you want to go ahead and every little hole you use with that nail gun, you want to go through and, and all those seams, see where I'm putting the seam, putting the uh, wood filler in? You want to go ahead and do that and sand it really, really good. It's going to be a sand mess, as you can see here. Um, I just kind of went through and just wiped everything down with a damp cloth. And once everything was sanded and wiped down, you want to go through and with your caulk and give it about 30 minutes. Once you, you know, caulk, everything should be good and ready. And then you'll, you're ready to start painting. Oh yeah. And when you put your caulk on, make sure you take your finger and just rub it on down. Now, my first time it got all on the wood board. So that's what I'm wiping off. But, um, you should just be able to just don't go too heavy on the caulk you know just a nice thin layer and then do a nice little swoop and that's it Once you get done caulking, it should be smooth sailing for you because, you know, if you're watching this video, most people just do their wall all one color. So I did the limousine leather and the eggshell finish. So you're expecting like, oh, okay, so the boards are eggshell finish. Well, they're not. I decided to do gloss for the boards and the wall is the um, eggshell. I wanted that gloss to pop. And this is what took the longest out of the, the project because once we put the gloss on, of course, you know, it's going to get onto the main foundation of the wall. We had to go through, as you can see here, and get those sides and then go back with the eggshell finish um, to make sure it's a seamless look. And that's what took the longest. I just want to say thank you to all the subscribers and to the viewers who tuned in to watch this video. I really appreciate the love and stay tuned for my next video. Bye.